Right, adding and subtracting fractions. We've got to remember, if we're doing that, we've got to make the denominators, the bottom numbers, must be the same. So if they are the same, it's really easy. We just add the tops or take away the tops. So first one, the bottoms are the same. Happy days, 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 over 8. Uh, 5 elevenths take away 3 elevenths. The bottoms are the same, so I just take away the numerators, take away the tops. 2 over 11. If they're not the same, though, we've got to do something about that. So we've got to make the bottoms the same. So we look at the 2 times table, we look at the 3 times table, and we find a common multiple that 2 and 3 go into. Uh, it doesn't have to be the uh, lowest common multiple, but the lower it is, the easier it should be. So the first number that arrives in the 2 and 3 times table is 6. So I'm going to write out both the denominators, changing them to 6. Now each denominator has changed differently. So on the first fraction, 2, the denominator of 2 has become 6. What did I do? I multiplied it by 3. So if the denominator's got 3 times bigger, we must also make the numerator 3 times bigger. So we have two equivalent fractions. 3, 6 is the same as a half. So I haven't changed the question. I potentially just made it a little bit easier. Same for this one, but I won't multiply by 3 now because the denominator was 3 to start with. So 3 multiplied by what makes 6? Obviously just 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Answer 7 over 6. It might ask you to change that answer to a mixed number. If we did, we would just say 7 divided by 6. How many 6s go into 7? One remainder one, so one whole one and one left over. The denominator will stay the same. One and one sixth is the same as seven over six. Okay, onto this one. Again, we can do the same thing. We're going to find the lowest common multiple, maybe, or any common multiple of two and three. We've done it a minute ago, so it's still six. What have I done to the three to change it into a six? I've multiplied by 2, so both numerator and denominator is going to be multiplied by 2. But this time on the right-hand side, what have I done to 2 to get it out of 6? I've multiplied by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. And this one's a really easy one. 4 sixths, take away 3 sixths, answer 1 sixth. Again, similar approach, but this time we've got different times tables. So what common multiple is for 3 and 7? So you go up in your 3 times table, you go in your 7 times table. 3 times 7 is another way of looking at a common multiple. We're going to get the answer of 21, though. That's actually the lowest common multiple as well. So what have I done to 3 to get to 21? I've times them by 7. I times both numerator and denominator by 7. So they are still the same fraction. They are still equivalent fractions. What do I do to the 7 to get it out of 21? I times by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 14 over 21 plus 9 over 21 equals 23 over 21. That's the top of every fraction, it's good, but it might ask you to write it as a mixed number. So just like above, how many 21s go into 23? Once, remainder 2. The denominator will stay the same. Those two are the same things, top of every fraction or improper fraction, mixed number. And again, with the subtraction, it's still the same method. We're looking for a common denominator or a common multiple a quick way to get a common multiple is 5 times 6 so that's going to be 30 so I put both of my denominators over 30 what we've done to the left hand fraction to go from 5 to 30 I've multiplied by 6 so I'm going to multiply the top one by 6 as well what we've done to the 6 to go to 30 I've multiplied by 5 1 times 5 is 5. And there we go, we've made the question easy. 18 over 30 minus 5 over 30 is simply 13 over 30.
there's more. Right, if you're unlucky in the exam, you might get a mixed number. Now, there are different ways of doing this question. I think we say if ever we have mixed numbers, we always go top heavy, because then it's the same for add, take away, and even a times and a divide, which you'll see on a different clip. You could separate them out for adding, but you can't for times and you can't for dividing, and it's not always easy for subtraction. So maybe the best way is just to go top every, every single time. One times five is five, plus three is eight. Eight over five. Two times four, or four times two is eight, plus the three is 11, 11 over four. So once I've gone to top heavy, it's the same method it was on the previous page. I'm just looking for a common multiple, or even better, a lowest common multiple. In this case, the lowest common multiple, five times four, is 20. I've multiplied the left-hand fraction by four, so I'm going to multiply both parts of the left-hand fraction by 4. 8 times 4, 32. But this time I mustn't multiply by 4, because how do I go from 4 to 20? Obviously I multiply by 5. And 11 times 5 is 55. The denominators, the bottoms are the same. We just add the tops. 87 over 20. It's a good answer. We might try and make it as a mixed number. How many 20s go into 87? That's OK. Four times, remainder 7. The bottom number doesn't change. 4 and 7 twentieths. And we're nearly there. We're going to play it safe. We're going to say, let's go to top-heavy fraction. Go to improper fraction first. 3 times 1 is 3. Add 2 is 5. 5 over 3. Now this is just a normal fraction, it's not top heavy, so I leave it as it is. I look for a lowest common multiple. Now the people that always times to get it, that's okay, 3 times 12 is 36, would work, but surely a better one, an easier one, is to see that the lowest common multiple, the first number that occurs in both the 12 times table and the 3 times table, is just 12. What will I multiply the left-hand fraction by? 4. 5 times 4, 20. This one's already out of 12. So I would only be timesing it by 1. So no need to change it. 20 twelfths, take away 11 twelfths, 9 twelfths. I can't write it as a mixed number. It's an ordinary fraction. But what could I do? I could simplify it. Obviously, both these numbers occur in the 3 times table. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by th sorry, 12 divided by 3 is 4. We're finished.